Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Gaming with Jim Bob Fred. This is Jim Bob Fred with another West game update. And by popular demand and request, this video is going to be about sheriff presets. Uh, what a sheriff preset is, is setting up your sheriff for different types of things. I'll just get right into it here in the thing. I'm going to try to keep the video short. Uh, at the end, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. Share it with your friends that are playing West Game. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel. That lets me know that the content I'm putting out is the content that you guys want. And we can go from there. So, getting moving right along. As always, I started in the city. I'm going to click on my sheriff up here in the upper left-hand corner. And you'll see that this is, how you're, this is how this particular sheriff is clearly set up with the gear that he has. And the skills that he has. So, down here at the bottom... There's a little brown tab with an up arrow. Click it. And as you can see, I have three different types of presets that I can set up. So this is where most people go wrong. They just go right into the one they want. They set up all the skills and they don't save it. But in order to edit your presets up here at the top, remember, anytime you see this little leaf, that gives you an opportunity to edit something. So click the leaf and this shows all my presets. <clears throat> all right. So I'm just going to come down here and do this third preset because I want to make sure that you guys see how it's done from scratch. So the first thing I want to do is I want to change this name, Sheriff Preset 3, to whatever I'm going to preset this as. So let's see, what will I preset this one as? I'll preset this as a, uh, a research construction preset. Two new letters. Research construction. I'll change the name. Oh, for crying out loud, they're not gonna let me use that space thingy. So research underscore because I'll uh, just do construction. There. That's just so that I know what it's gonna be when I look at it. So you see I changed the name up here. This one will be set up for, for research slash construction. Now I get to pick all the gear that I want to have. So I don't have all my research construction gear done, but I will look and see what I have. So I don't have a hat that's set up for research or construction. So I'm going to take the best one I have. Oh, this is our research speed. So I'll take this one. I'll go ahead and wear that. It increases my research. I'll go here to uh, my shirts or jackets, whatever they are. See what we have in here. All right, looks like this is the only one that's good for research or construction. And you'll notice on those there was a percentage. I always go for the percentages on these items when I put the gear on because I just want to make sure. Like this was given to me at the beginning, the gold boots. It only reduces it by 12 minutes. That's It's only 12 minutes if it's a 15-minute research or a 30-day research. So that's why I try to avoid these, these uh, research times and always go for the percentages. But I'll go ahead and put that on. Check my gear here, see what we have. Those are both good for construction speed. All right, so this one has a 2.1% construction speed. This one has a 10% construction speed and 2.7% research. Let's see what this last one is. Ah, uh, we'll go with construction. This will be primarily more, better for construction as we go along, so I'll try to keep that in mind. See what kind of pistols we have for any good stuff when it comes to those things. I don't think I have anything that's not minutes. So I got a construction revolver and a wood cane. I'll, I'll wear the cane. Remember, as I as as I add each one of these, it shows you your overall percentage here on the right. So far, my construction speed is a plus 121%. My research is plus 123. We'll pick this last piece of gear. It looks like I'll be able to use them both. We'll see how that works out in the wash. Okay, now that I've got that done, you want to go to your skill trees and I'm going to set my skills up. Um, and I'm going to have to reset this at the back end. Whoops. Make sure I'm in the right one. There's all my skills that I get to use. I, I must have clicked off it real quick. So I have a 264 skills points to spend here. As I go into my tree, this is going to be about research and construction. So I'm, I'm automatically I'm going to click on my research here and it says I have to have two points for a troop attack 
and two for food in order to put anything in here at all. So I'll, I'm only going to do the two that I need in each category to get that open. So I want to save my points to go specifically to those things I want. Notice these are all are highlighted now and I can do them. And I'm going to max those out because this is a preset set up for construction and research. Now I'm just going to look in the tree wherever I got to go to find something else that says research or construction. Because those are the only things I'm really interested in at this specific time, right? Because I'm setting this one up for that exactly. I got to go a long ways before I hit construction speed and research speed too. So I'm just going to click. What do I need to have here? So I need five points for wood to open it up. That's this one. I need five points there. If I go through this, it's going to say I need five points everywhere to get these. So I'll just go all the way down the end, click this one and see what I need. I need one more point for food production in order to open up that one. So I will add one more here and only one. Again, I want to conserve points. And so before I put any points here, I'll see what I need to get to the next one. It's going to be five. And just so you know, it's going to be five every time. So that opens up the next one. So of course I'm getting a little bit of wood and a little bit of stone production stuff in here at the same time. And, and what's important about this is when I get down to those last two, when I max them out, I'm going to have extra points. So knowing I'm going to have extra points, oops, and knowing that I'm also going to be building troops along the way, I'm probably going to come back through here and increase some of those things that I need for decreasing the amount of time that I have to spend doing troops or decreasing the amount of resources that I need for troops. And gathering as well, you know, we all out there gathering, getting resources. You see, each time I assign a point here that gives you your total skill points underneath that allow you to get to the next level. While I'm going through this, I want to, I want to, oh, and we're up to construction speed. So I want to max it. I want all 20 there. Here's why. Remember, anytime you see uh, the letter I in one of the corners, that means you're getting information about this specific one. I just took it to 20. That's going to give me overall an additional 70% reduction in time on my construction because I just took it all the way up to 20. And I'll, before I do that on the research one here, I'll, I'll click on that in advance. I only get 1% for one, but when you go all the way down to the bottom, again, up to 70% reduction. So because I'm focused exactly on what I need here, I just increased my production time and and my research time or reduce my research time and construction time to go along. So I want to keep going to the end here. There's nothing else that I have to do, but I still have a bunch of uh, points that I could spend. I'm not going to spend those now. It tells me here I have 84, but if I have this particular preset set on my um, sheriff, I also want to make sure that I have my sheriff stuff all in here for my attack and minions too. So I'll max those out. I got plenty of points to use. So I'll max these out. And again, I can change this anytime you want. You can go out and change these anytime you want. It's not a big deal as you play the game. Um, but this helps you uh, with the amount of stamina that you get uh, and use when you're attacking minions and what it costs you to attack minions. And So this is pretty important stuff as well. So I still have five points to assign. What do I want to assign it to? We'll do a... Uh, so I'll look at Sheriff Attack 2, see what it does. If I put five points here, it gives me 1.1% buff there. And if I put the five here on combo attack, it will give me a up to a two. I like that. We're going to put them on a combo attack. I like when you get an additional attack in just because you're out there attacking people. So I'll max assign those for now. I'll come back and do these other 84 in a little bit. Um, that's pretty much how you do a preset. You can set, and now this is all set up anytime that I select this one, it'll be good to go. You do that from here. I could now put my research one on. It's going to cost me a thousand to do it but I just put my research gear on. So now anytime I'm doing construction or research, I'm gonna get a pretty good reduction in time um, to do so because I set it up with all my presets. That's what presets are for. They're designed to help you quickly change around your sheriffs while you're doing your game, while you're playing your game. And if I was going to attack someone, I would go to my range attack or a different kind of preset that I would have set up. Um, it's just a smart and easy, quick way to change your sheriff around to do to get the best bonuses that you can get for whatever activity it is you're doing. As always, it's a war game, folks. If you're not enjoying getting hit by other players 
and you're not out, out attacking other players, pick a different game. There's plenty of non-war type games out there. And just because someone hits you doesn't mean that they're picking on you or bullying you. It's a war game. We all downloaded it for the same reason, to fight people and to have fun. So if you're not having fun, find, find something else out to do. As always, folks, be blessed. Uh, be safe. This is Jim Bob Fred out.